Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about how to use the offset edges from SketchUp in Blender. One of the things that I like the most about my job as an architect is uh, whenever I have the opportunity to explain or, te or teach someone how to use Blender instead of another tool, I will take this opportunity. And I'm uh, I'm having a lot of work lately with people trying to migrate from SketchUp to Blender. And I'm uh, always trying to explain that most of the tools or a lot of the tools that you find in SketchUp, they exist in Blender, but with a different name. That's the case of the offset edges. Let me show you how it works. Here in SketchUp, for instance, uh, if we have this model here, this exterior house we can use the offset edges which is right here at the top of the menu this is the offset it will create a copy of uh, your edges whenever you select a face for instance if i click here and select this face let's say i want to create a copy here you can type 0 0.5 as the distance press enter you will see the distance right here on the lower left corner. Let me type it again. This is where you will see in case you are not familiar with SketchUp. And from here, you can use a push pull to add some more detail to this facade. Easy, right? Can we do something like that in Blender? Yes, there is a tool in Blender that, do, that uh, follows this uh, exact same workflow, but with, uh, but with a different name. Let's go to Blender. And here I have that exact same model that I imported from SketchUp. By the way, I just uh, uploaded a tutorial here uh, to uh, on the channel explaining how to use this option here, which is a free add-on to directly import SketchUp files into Blender. If you are not subscribed yet, uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these uh, tips uh, related to using Blender for architecture, design, uh, precise 3D modeling, or anything related to uh, using Blender as a creative tool or as a CAD tool to replace SketchUp, uh, AutoCAD, Rhinoceros, and other 3D tools. Now, how can we use something similar to the offsets tool from SketchUp here in Blender? If you are not familiar with Blender, First thing you have to do is to select an object or the object that you want to edit, like this part of the model here. A, sing a simple left click uh, is enough to select the object. Now, you can either press the tab key to change your work mode, or you can use the selector here on the top, on the top left of your screen and choose edit mode. Once you enter edit mode, you will be able to select or manage vertices edges and faces i will select this face here which is the face that i want to edit and the option that we want to use right now which works the exact same way as the offset option from sketchup is the inset you will see the inset here on this uh, left panel this is the icon for the inset and as you can see from the tooltip the shortcut is the i key Let's see how it works. If I press the I key now and I move my cursor into uh, towards the center of my face, you will see that it will create a very similar setup from the offset. I can click, for instance, here. And now we have one last step. Back in SketchUp, I set or I used a uh, size for this, uh, for this uh, transformation as 0.5. How can I change this here in Blender? In many cases in Blender, when you create or when you apply a transformation, you will see this operator panel here, which is this small menu that appears on the lower left corner of your screen. And from here, I can change the thickness to 0 0.5. Press enter. And that's it. Now you can, for instance, press the E key to apply an extrude and create a very similar setup or very similar workflow to what we had back in SketchUp.
And that's it. This was a quick tutorial about how to use a simple tool from SketchUp, like the offset in Blender. They uh, work in a very similar way, but with different names. This is just one example of many different resources that you will find in SketchUp that uh, works uh, the same way in Blender, but under a different name or with small changes in the workflow. And if you want to keep learning about more Blender resources or, or how to use Blender as a CAD tool to migrate from SketchUp or any other tool to Blender, I will leave links in the description uh, with some of my learning resources from Blender 3D Architect. Getting any of these resources will support my work here in Blender 3D Architect. One of them is this uh, workshop here. Uh, called Blender 4.2 Precise 3D Modeling, where I explain how to use Blender as a CAD tool. I will really soon update this workshop here to Blender 5.0. Uh, and I will also leave a link for this uh, book here, which is one of my latest books called 3D Modeling with Blender 4. Point, uh, with Blender 4.5, where I explore add-ons, just free add-ons, uh, related to 3D modeling in Blender that reveals hidden features and hidden, and hidden resources that you can use to create 3D models in Blender. It's focused on beginners and in this page here you can download a few uh, a few uh, a sample PDF with the content of the book, take a look into the table of contents and much more. Everything will be in the description. So I hope you like this tutorial. And if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.